In this video lesson, we will learn how to graph the logarithm function. So, as usual, it's really important to know what the graph of the very most basic logarithm looks like. The simplest logarithm there is is just log x, the base 10 logarithm of x. This is what its graph looks like. So first of all, there is no negative x. There is no, no part of the graph has a negative x coordinate. You start close to zero, and at that point the graph starts very low, and then it jumps through, and log of one is equal to zero, so it will intersect the point one zero, and it goes through that point, and then it slowly, slowly increases. So now we're going to copy the basic shape, and this is what it will look like. And we're going to use this basic shape to be able to graph different similar logarithmic functions. So let's do an example. Let's say we have y equals log of x plus 4. So the difference between this and the previous function is that we have x plus 4 in those parentheses together. What this does is it shifts the graph 4 units to the left. So if we remember what our original graph looked like, it went through the point 1, 0 and increased ever so slowly, and it sort of gets really close to the y-axis, but not quite, and just keeps decreasing. And that's the original y equals log x. Now we're going to shift this by 4. So the point 1, 0 will be negative 3, 0, and everything else will be similar. We'll have, instead of the y-axis, everything will start close to negative 4, but not quite at negative 4, and it'll keep increasing. There's actually a second point we can draw just to confirm the accuracy of our graph. If x equals 6, then if we have 6 plus 4, we get 10. And log of 10 is 1. So at x equals 6, we should be at 1. And that is about what the graph will look like. Let's correct that a little bit. It's important to notice that as x increases, log of x will get arbitrarily large. It only looks like it's getting closer and closer to some number, but really it is increasing. So don't forget that when you're making the drawing. So let's do now log of x plus 5 plus 3. If we have x plus 5 in parentheses and plus 3, we have two shifts. The first shift is 5 units to the left because of the 5 that we're adding to the x in the parentheses. Next there's the plus 3. This one just moves the whole graph 3 units up. So now let's make some sketches. First, just log of x. If you remember, this is what it looked like. It starts near the y-axis and goes to the point one zero and increases pretty slowly. Now we're shifting at left five. Instead of going through one zero, it goes through negative four and increases very slowly. And instead of the y-axis, it gets really close to y equals negative five. So that's what shifted left to the five looks like. Now all we have to do is shift it up three. So every time we sort of have this one important pivot point, which was originally the point one zero, but now is shifted to the left by five, and now we're going to shift that point up by three. So currently it's negative four zero, but now we shift it up by three, and we draw everything else with respect to it. The curve on both sides. And that is about what it'll look like. And here I just extended it a little bit, and as you can see, it is increasing, and it's not approaching some number. And we start 
very close to negative the, the line y equals negative 5. So this is what the logarithm looks like. All right, so let's do one more example just to make sure that we got everything down. Let's say we have negative log of x plus 4 plus 2. So now we have two shifts, and we also have another thing to deal with, and that is the negative sign. Negative sign causes the graph to flip. And then also there will be the shifts. X plus 4 means a shift of 4 to the left. And the plus 2 outside of the parentheses means a shift 2 upwards. So the first thing we want to do is just draw the original log x, just a sketch. And there it is, starting by the y-axis, going up through 1, 0, and slowly increasing. Now we have to flip. So what I mean by the flip is literally flip it around the x-axis. So you see how we get this sort of mirror image? This is negative log x. And that's what it looks like. So instead of starting very low on the graph, it starts very high. Instead of increasing ever so slowly, it decreases ever so slowly. So now we have to shift it left 4. So we still have that important pivot point. The 1, 0 that we started with moves over 4 units. And there I have it drawn at negative 3, 0. And the, everything else is drawn accordingly, just going through that point. Now I have to shift up 2. So the pivot point will move up to there, and we just draw the rest of the graph through it. So we go up really high over there on the left, and decrease ever so slowly on the right. And that's about what it'll look like. So there it is, there we have our graph. Well, thank you for watching this video lesson, and I hope it helped.